handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from the Meadowlands racetrack here on Friday. It is the 20th of September 2024. I'm going to look at all the races here on night one of the all turf thoroughbred meeting from the Big M. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean it around the world. Um, we have some good action today from Aqueduct with uh, that, that eighth race. Looks really nice. And also um, tomorrow we have the Pennsylvania Derby. And today we have the Hoosier of uh, State races that's some good racing there so um go check that out but um you know the the metal hands uh, and the thoroughbreds in the fall have always been you know something special for me I, i've always liked those uh races um you know w w my ultimate wish in the thoroughbred racing right now um would be for them to have a full thoroughbred meeting on dirt in the next few years they were supposed to do it in 2020 of course the pandemic got in the way of that but um maybe in the next few years they could finally bring that uh, full thoroughbred dirt meeting back but i love these turf races so we're going to look at the um, the uh, the card here. We're going to look at all six races. So let's get to it right now. The first race from the Big M. It's main special weight purse, $45,000. Races for Jersey Bread. Phillies here. <laughs> Field of, let's see, nine horses. Going to the turf course, the 1,000-meter journey, or five furlongs on the turf course. Rails are up tonight at 17 feet. I'm going to go take the six-horse Archron as the top selection. 6845 for me in the Super Facta. 6845 Super. Top selection, six-horse Archeron. This Chiro for the Big Gift Box. Timothy Hills trains Jario Rendon gets the mount. The horse's most recent out, he came 25th of August at uh, Mammoth, six, uh, five and a half on the main track in the state bread main special weight for 64, and he finished second by 18 lengths that day. The winner just really took off clear, and uh, kind of yielded late, was just walking home on the wire, but this horse just wasn't catching the winner, who really ran impressively. This horse just coming here, back, coming to a turf sprint here today, should be forwardly paced. Got beat by a decent horse last time out. I'm going to give him a shot to win here on his turf debut. He ran on debut 21st July. Mammoth, five furlongs in main special weight. And he finished third by seven and a half flanks and was sent off as the, the lukewarm just under two to one favorite that day. And he just kind of stalked. He moved a little bit late. I thought he wanted something more, but he, he showed potential that day. He's been training quite nicely since the last race. He had a bullet drill in 48, four furlongs, 47 and three, the best workout of, out of 12, and a half mile last week in 49 and four, 64th best workout, 109. Coming here to turf, I'm going to give him a shot on the ticket. I think the eight horse here point to the stars for um, uh, Joan Maline and Paco could win also. You know, his first two races, you know, he, he ran decently on turf where he finished six by eight and a quarter lengths on debut on the 13th of July going five, where he just, you know, he, he got around the race course okay, but he needs something more. And then he ran on the dirt last time out in the same race Archeron came out of and he just wasn't getting into it. He completely hit the wall. Another thing since the last race, he is training quite nicely. At six to one, I would give him a shot on the ticket and if you're going to play the jersey six to four horse dub off he ran actually last week last saturday at monmouth going five and a half on the lawn um when a main special where he ran a massive third place finish by three and three quarter lengths gaining a lot of ground coming here with a quick turnaround you know uh, gregory siaco with short offering of quick turnarounds of seven days 56 percent only nine horses but uh, just keep that in mind but um you know i'll give the short shot three to two but i do think the other two are more likely winners or better bets uh, like i said quick turnaround you don't see it very often but to recap my selection for the first from the Meadowlands, I'm going to take the six-horse Archeron, give kudos to the eight-horse point to that star, and the four-horse dub-off, 6845 Super, 684 in the multi-raise. These second events now from the Meadowlands, beginning in the pick five. It's a claiming event going for a $17,000 purse, races for three-year-olds and upwards, number one, two races here. Claim price, $7,500. Field of 11 horses going 1,700 meters or mile 16th on the Meadowlands turf course. Seven, uh, again, the rails are up at 17 feet. I'm going to go take the number five horse more than more than I can handle. <laughs> I'm going to go 5, 10, 7, 1 in the Superfecta. Um, excuse me, 5-10-7-1 Super, 5-10-7-1 Super, top selection five horse, more than I can handle this, uh, five-year-old horse by Handsome Mike, Kelly Breen trains, gets Torres up in the saddle, the horse's most recent nine came 23rd of August at Mom at the Mile, and uh, claiming 16, and he finished sixth by eight, uh, eighth by six and a half lengths that day, he was setting the pace, setting some good numbers up front, but then he just kind of crumbled, coming to this turf course, when the rails are out, the speed really holds up, he could have that slingshot move to the uh, front end, and I think he could uh, get a good trip to win, you know, way down the class ladder also. He's been running in 16 claimers as of recently, and just, you know, he's been running okay, but I just think with the way down the class ladder here today, that's something he wants to do. Also, he's had a quick workout since the last race. 3.8 miles, we're on 36 in the race, so... 
I think they're going to try and wire the field here today. He ran two back on the 26th of July, Monmouth going mile 16th and claiming 16. First are in two months. He finished third by neck. And again, he sat on the front end. He was very fresh that day. He just kind of got overtaken late, but he didn't go down without a fight. He ran a good 67 buyer that could definitely win against these horses. And then back at Monmouth on opening weekend, or more late weekend, shall I say, mile 16th and claiming 16. He finished seven by five and a half lengths. Again, sent to the lead. He just kind of crumbled late. You know, what can you do? He just, he just saw a little bit of tired horse, I think. That was his first start with the quick turnaround from the Goldstrom race uh, three weeks prior, so maybe he just needed a couple days to get acclimatized to the to the place, but um, you know, he ran here last fall, where he ran an okay fifth place finish, where again, he just set the pace, kind of yielded late, but I think coming here off some decent runs as recently, I think he can win. I think the 10 horse here, Billy's got issues for Jorge Vargas Jr. and Ray Handel can win also, getting serious class relief. Ran a claim 50 at Saratoga, going mile 16 on the 23rd of August, where he finished fifth by three and a quarter lengths, moved a little bit late, but he still needs something more. Prior to then claiming 30, going a mile 16th of the spa on the inner. He finished 6 by 4 and 3 quarter lengths at a very, very wide trip. He moved a little bit late, but it wasn't anything spectacular. And then back at Monmouth and claiming 16, he finished second by head. He just missed late, but he had a very good, you know, trip that day. I think coming way, way down the class ladder to a 75 claimer, he's training well. 5-2, to two, he might be a very overbet horse, but he might be a very likely winner also. I would use him on the... Um, on the pick five ticket here. But to recap my selection for the second for the middle lane, it's going to go take the five horse more than I can handle. We'll give kudos to the ten horse Billy's got issues. Five ten seven one super, five ten and the multi race. <clears throat> Let's get to the third event now from the middle lane, beginning at the pick four. It's a maiden claiming event going for a $20,000 purse. Races for mains, Phillies, two year olds here. Field of ten horses going to post the distance of ground of a thousand meters or five furlongs on the turf. Going to take the two horse Impetus Echo, two nine six four for me in the Superfecta. 2964 Super. Top selection, two horse impetus echo this, um... My cat's right there. He's just doing something crazy. Nope, nope. Oh, he's playing with the toy. But, um, sorry about that. I can just see him out of the corner of my eye. And it's, uh, um, you know, I just want to make sure he's not doing something he's not supposed to do. But, um... Sorry, but uh, the two horse impetus echo this tour of Philly of acclamation. George Weaver trains. Paco Lopez gets the mounts. The horse's most recent out came last Friday, 13th of September at Laurel. Five and a half in main special weight 52, and he finished ninth by 12 lengths that day. And he just couldn't get into it. He was wide and just was not really comfortable. Down to a maining 25 claimer here today. Quick turnaround. I'm gonna give him a shot. He he has six offerings of horses coming with a quick turnaround. George Weaver, 17%. It's not bad. And then the horse that won was a decent price but um you know i just think coming here today way down the class he could find a trip to win he could also show some pace which would be good because he showed some pace at laurel going five and a half on the second of august where he finished third by nine and a half lengths he sat on the rail setting some pace and then he just kind of hit the wall late that the finish line at laurel five and a half really just takes a use eternity to come up to and uh, i think that just cost him training well I'm going to give him a shot here with some class relief with a quick turnaround. The nine horse Rude and Muscle Tough can win also for um, Christopher Elliott and Brittany Russell. Blinkers on today at Timonio and going four in a um, main special weight back on the 1st September. He finished six by 12 and a quarter lengths, just never getting into it. He didn't get out of the gate so clearly either. Since the last race, he is training quite nicely. And you look at, if you look at over his workout pattern, he does have some pace. Coming here from Y Postro, hopefully, hopefully Christopher Elliott really sends a horse from the inside, from the outside. I think this, the speed with this horse can really, you know, go a long way, and you know, and get a trip to win. You know, um, second um, start for uh, Brittany Russell horse, horse, her horses really do fire at thirty-one percent, and coming from main, especially with the main claiming, they really do fire also. So uh, just watch out for this horse at five to one, a horse you want to definitely use in your pick five here. Like I said, I think um, that quirkiness of Timonium just kind of caused him. I think here. This is not such a quirky course. It's standard five furlong turf course. I think he can, you know, get around the race course well. Even the six horse horse play for Jario Rendon, Timothy Hills. He's getting class relief from his race in New York. You know, he's he, against those state bred horses. He just wasn't really keeping up and never really showing a lot. I think, um, you know, getting blinkers on, stepping down in class here today at seven to two. I would give him a shot here, but I do think the other two are more likely winners. But to recount my selection for the third for the Meadowlands, now I'm now, going to take the two horse Impetus Echo. Give kudos to the nine horse Ruda Mazeltov and the six horse horse play. 2964 Super, 296 in the multi race. We're going to play the actually Jersey Six today, so we'll add it to that ticket. Uh, but let's get to the fourth from the Metal Lands now, which is a claiming event going for $17,000 purse. Races, Phillies and Mayors, three year olds and upwards, number one, two races here. 
We have a field of nine horses going to post. The distance of ground of a thousand meters or five furlongs on the turf course. Gonna take the four horse more tastic. Four three one eight for me in the super factor. Four three one eight super. Top selection of four horse more tastic. This um, three year old field by more than ready. Gregory Sacco trains. Luis Rivera Jr. gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing actually came on the 26th of January at Turfway. Six furlongs to Pete and Ops 50 claimer. We finished six by 12 and a quarter lengths that day and he had nothing. Absolutely nothing. He never quickened up. He never Never really got running that day. <coughs> it just wasn't his day to win. Down the class ladder here today to a 75 claimer. First on a new barn. I think he could, you know, get a good race to win. He ran decently nearly a year ago at Indiana, going five in an allowance race for 36. He finished third by two and three quarter lengths, and he gained a lot of ground that day from the back of the pack. Turf sprinting off a quick turnaround. I think that's what he wants to do. And then at Kentucky Downs, going six and a half in a uh, restricted allowance race, finished seven by 11 lengths that day. He was wide, and he just never really got into it. But going five at Monmouth in the Colleen last summer, he finished seven by 14 and a quarter lengths. And missed waves. Decent horse won that day. He wasn't catching him, but he he, he broke his main going in a main spot especially at uh, Beltara last summer going five, winning by four and three quarter lengths at the front end. He really took off clear. He's trading quite nicely at Monmouth since his, um, since coming to the Siaco Barn. Most recent workouts from the gate, which are quite nicely. Half mile drill, 4.93 from the gate last week. 25, best out of, th that's out of um, 63. I think this horse is go gearing to go. Coming here to five, give him a shot. Three horse Sassiana for Marin and Tony Wilson can win also. Um, he has won in, uh, in nearly uh, over a year Guy was going five and a half at Monmouth and Main sixteen thousand, where he won by two lengths in the front and really taking off clear. Then they tried him in tougher competition. He's down in class to the lowest competition today, which I think is really going to suit him well. He's shown some pace in his most recent races. I think he's drawn well here today. I would give him a shot on the ticket, and even the one-horse keep in touch for Kathleen O'Connell. Um, you know, been running in these turf sprints and been running decently in them. Um, you know, again, another horse down the class ladder. Give her a shot at 9-5 in this very wide-open race. The, the ladder end of the card's very wide open, so I think you want to go a few ways in some of these races. And Drenno, this is a very wide-open card. Sometimes these Metal Lines turf races can be, um, the last few seasons can be a little chalky, but I think today's card is very good, and I think you make some money with some of these races. But to recap my selection for the fourth in Metal Lines now, going to take the four horse more tastic and give kudos to the three horse sassiana and the one horse keep in touch four three one eight super four three one in the multi-race the fifth event the beginning of the late double from the metal lands it's an allowance race purse forty two thousand dollars race phillies mayors three year olds and upwards here which number one race the main claim starter stay for an allowance race which number one two races we have a field of 10 horses going 1700 meters or a mile 16th on the metal lands turf course I'm going to go with the 9 horse preliminary. It's 5 to 1 here, but I don't think you're going to get 5 to 1 at post time. I'm going to go 9, 10, 3, 5 in the Super Factor. 9, 10, 3, 5 Super. Top selection 9 horse preliminary. 4 year filled by Lupe de Vega. Chad Brown trains. Hario Rendon gets the mount for Claravich Stable. The horse's most recent out came in a lounge race for at uh, Saratoga. Mile on the inner turf course, 14th of August. And he had Frankie up that day, but this horse just kind of yielded from a wide poster. He finished 8th by 11 and 3 quarter lengths. He left to get a good position. He was wide throughout, but then he yielded. First off the 13-month uh, bench, he needed the race. Second off the bench, he's going to be in a more realistic spot to win. Even with a wide poster, I think he has some forwardly pace to overcome that and, and get a good trip to win. He ran the Ontario Collins Stakes of 2023 at Woodbine prior to that over the mile, where he finished 7 by 7 three quarter lengths. And from the inside, he sat back early, got up there a little bit in the top of lane, but then he just kind of hit the wall in the stretch. Something must have wanted to miss, because you didn't see the horse for 13 months after that. And the Edgewood of 23 at Woodbine, uh, at Church over mile 16th Derby Day. Sent off as the 72 favorite. He finished 11 by 7 lengths that day, and he just had nothing that day. Absolutely nothing from the post draw, but on debut going Goldstream last uh, winter, going a mile in a main special weight, he finished. He won by one quarter lengths and had a great trip, stupidly wide. But he had the, you know, that turn of foot was quite impressive that day. Training well, he has some hidden ability here today. They they have to think highly of him. He has great pedigree for the mile. Five to one, second off the bench. I'm going to give him a shot. Will you get five to one? Absolutely not. I think he'll make off an even money here. I think the ten horse active for Nequars and Grand Moshe can win also. Finally broke his main two back going a mile on eighth at Laurel in a main. 45 the claimer winning by two and a quarter lengths from a stupidly wide post drum. he was drifting a little bit in the lane but he got the job done he wasn't drifting most recently in, in a restricted allowance race or a staper allowance race at clono going a mile 
one by two and a quarter lengths from a, from a front end position. He really took off clear. It might have taken him seven starts to break the main, but if you look at those races where he wasn't breaking the main and, um, in those main special weights, he was running decent races coming up north to the Meadowlands from his base in Maryland. He could win at 620. He could be a wise guy horse for this pick five here. And even the three horse here for Paco Soraya and Brittany Russell, um, you know, the, the horse is close to no cigars, most recent races at Colonial. He's coming up north here today. He has some decent numbers that could definitely win against these. I'll give him a shot in the late pick five, uh, or late pick, or, or in the um, in the pick six here, excuse me. But to recap my selection for the fifth from the Metal Lands, going to take the um, nine horse preliminary. Give kudos to the ten horse active and the three horse Araya. Nine, ten, three, five, super. Nine, ten, three in the multi race. Let's get to the nightcap here on day one of the Metal Lands turf meeting. The tenth race, the tenth race, the sixth race from the Metal Lands. Nine twenty post time. It's claiming twenty five. I'm um, claiming twenty five thousand here. Purse twenty three thousand dollars. Race for million, uh, fillies and mayors, three year olds and upwards. Uh, we have a field of eight horses going seventeen hundred meters. A mile sixteenth on the Metal Lands turf course. Going to take the two horse butterfly queen as the top selection. Two one five eight for me in the superfecta. 2158 Super. Top selection two wars. Butterfly Queen. This uh, three affiliate by Omaha Beach. Dan War Trans. Jorge Vargas Jr. Picks up the mount. Most recently in a claim 25 at Mammoth of the Mile on 24th of August. He finished fourth by one quarter lengths that day. He gained a lot of ground late, but he still needs something more. But he showed potential that day stepping down in class or stepping up in class, shall I say. He ran claiming 16 before that, which was a success at Mammoth going mile 16, 26 of June. Went by a half length. Even after not the best beginnings, he flew home clear late with a 64 buyer. And then he he ran in a very tough allowance race going a mile on the 20th of July at Monmouth a week prior, finishing 11th by 11 lengths. He was wide from a wide poster and just didn't show a lot that day. But his race before that, he broke his main on the 15th of June going mile 16th quite easily by 3.5 lengths. Came back to run and claimed 16 uh, eight days or two weeks later, where he won by 2.5 lengths, really taking off clear. His turf efforts, again, similar like the, the Grand Ocean horse in the previous race. It took him a little bit of time to get the, the victors, but, um, you know, when he was in those main races, he was always running these bang-up races. Coming here to a 25 claimer, I'm going to give him a shot. I think that one horse annihilate for James Ferraro and Lane Luzzi coming in from New York to win also. This 5 year mare by Pioneer of the Nile gave him some class relief from those races in New York. Most recently in a, in a very tough lounge race, open company in mile 16th of Saratoga. He finished 10th by 10 and 3 quarter lengths, was wide and just had absolutely nothing at 77 to 1. Right on the slot prior to that Saratoga over the Wilson Mile in option 25 where he finished 6 by 23 lengths, never getting a trip. And then a tough lounge race at Saratoga he been a six by three and a quarter lengths going a mile and an eighth, a mile sixteenth. He just never was really comfortable. But he upset at eight and a half to one as backward up going a mile and eighth in the start of lounge race. He went by ahead. He had a strong pace to close up into, and he got the job done. A very good race, even after not the best beginnings. If you look over his buyers, he's really been improving a lot since coming to the green stuff. Training well since the last race, getting some class relief from his New York races. I'll give him a shot here at 3-1 to one to end off the pick 5, but to recount my selection for the 6th from the Metal Lands now, going to take the 2-horse Butterfly Queen, going to give kudos to the 1-horse Annihilate, 2 one, five, eight, super 2-1 in the multi-race. So, good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck, everyone.